Are you feeling stressed, anxious, feeling a little overwhelmed these days? Well, I've got a really practical tip to help you. My name is Mike Foster, and this is Strong As You. Let's start off and answer the question, what is anxiety? Good place to start, right? Well, anxiety is really where we have this intense and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. It's where oftentimes feelings can feel overwhelming or where we have stress and anxiousness are building up in our body. Maybe it's from parenting, maybe it's from work, maybe it's about something that's going on in your life. And all of a sudden we're, we're overcome with just this anxiousness and worry that impacts our day. And so let's talk about what causes uh, us to be anxious? What causes anxiety within us? Well, first possible reason would be our, our genetic predisposition. A lot of times anxiety runs in family lineage and it's in literally in our DNA. And so that's nothing to be ashamed about. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It just means that your body and your genetics will handle stress differently. Also, we have to consider personality how you sort of show up in the world. Are you super perfectionistic? Guilty, that's me. Uh, maybe you struggle with low self-esteem, so things feel very um, anxious to you. Maybe you uh, like to control or over-control things. And so how our personality operates uh, will definitely impact the, the amount of anxiety that we feel. Sometimes it's just, we're in stressful situations. You know, maybe, maybe there's a problem at work or maybe a problem with one of your kids or maybe your marriage is really stressing you out right now. Well, that's going to create anxiety in the body and in the mind. Oftentimes, and I work with a lot of people where this is the case, past trauma, past trauma that has never been processed. It's almost as if the trauma is just sitting there in the body, just sitting there in our thoughts, quietly uh, hiding out in our subconscious. And so trauma can very much impact our level and, and how we deal with anxiety. And then finally, substances. You know, anything that's going to, like caffeine or drugs or alcohol, that is all going to have an impact on how we carry stress. Okay, so a lot of times people uh, don't know the difference between maybe what a panic attack is and what an anxiety attack is. And they're, they're very different experiences, though they're all sort of connected into this concept of anxiety. So, or for example, a panic attack, you'll have no warning. It just sort of shows up. But an anxiety attack has a specific trigger, okay? Uh, a panic attack often happens very quick. It just comes on, on top of you. Maybe you're driving in the car or maybe lying in bed and it just happens. Where an anxiety attack will actually gradually uh, intent, uh, increase in intensity. Uh, a panic attack, it will often be described as sort of this very, very intense physical body reaction. You know when you're having a panic attack. Whereas an anxiety attack can have different levels, sometimes mild to severe. Uh, a panic attack, a panic attack is activated by our fight and flight response where uh, an anxiety attack is usually focused on a common stressor. So we have all these different causes of anxiety. We have all these different uh, things that are happening within us, within our lives. We have panic attacks, we have anxiety attacks. So what do we do? What do we do with all of this? Well, probably the best tip I can give you in terms of dealing with stress, dealing with anxiety, is to focus on your breathing. See, there's two key systems of your body. There's one system called the sympathetic nervous system, and there's another sy system called the parasympathetic nervous system. I know it's all science-y all of a sudden, but, but follow me here. So your, your sympathetic nervous system is your fight and flight response. And when we're feeling anxiety or stress, this nervous system is gonna be all revved up. Well, the way to sort of slow that nervous system down is through activating the parasympathetic nervous system. And the way to do that is to do diaphragmatic breathing. 
kind of simple words. It's just belly breathing. And, and you could try it. It's so simple. All you do is, it, is put your hand on your chest, and then put your hand on your gut, and just breathe, through, breathe in through your nose and out through your nose for about a minute or two. But, but make sure your belly is expanding and not your chest. We don't want sort of chest breathing here. We want belly breathing. And when you do that type of breathing, that diaphragmatic breathing, that's going to activate your parasympathetic nervous system and begin to calm the fight and flight that's happening within your body. So understand anxiety is a part of life. Understand that some of us have different uh, heightened responses to stress in, in our everyday lives. And the beautiful thing is that we can actually do something about the anxiety that we feel by focusing on our breath, engaging our body, and allowing the stress to just melt away. All right, so I wanna, I wanna make this really clear for you. So take this glass of water. If I had you hold this glass of water for a minute, no problem, right? If I had you hold this glass of water for an hour, your arm might start to ache a little bit. If I had you hold this glass of water, this exact same glass of water for a week, man, you would be in a lot of pain. You'd be hurting. Now, the weight of the water hasn't changed, but how long you have held it has. And that's the key here. When you start feeling stressed, when you start feeling overwhelmed, when, when the, the stresses of today start to build up, lean in to that breathing, engage your body, begin to release that stress through the diaphragmatic breathing. And finally, you can put the, that water down and build the strongest life possible and build the strongest you possible. Thanks for joining us. I wanna make sure that you get Strongest You delivered to your inbox every single week. So make sure to sign up at strongestyou.org. You get uh, it delivered to your inbox. You get some bonus content. You want to be signed up. So head on over there. Plus, I ask you to, to take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't miss this Sunday as we dive into Forever You. We'll see you next time.